speaking of colloidals has sometimes been called ionization. For example, in swimming pools, we use ionizers, which are in fact colloidal generators of copper and silver. But ionization is a broad term that covers not only the use of ions, but the use of nanoparticles, which are not ions, but are a collection of small number of atoms. They form a cluster and they are a unique state of matter by themselves. The reason that they are so unique is that these nanoparticles have a double layer that protects them from being dissolved into the water, for example. This double layer allows them to have a, an electrical charge on each nanoparticle. And this same charge on each particle is called the zeta potential. And this can be measured. If you look up on um, Wikipedia, you'll see a whole definition of zeta potential. The zeta potential of our colloidal silver is extremely high, minus 60 millivolts. Thanks to all of the 20 years of research that I've gone into the quantum chemistry of, of my work. These charges on the nanoparticles being of uh, the same polarity, the nanoparticles repel each other so that they can never come in contact with each other. That, why, that way they stay active for months, even years. Uh, that creates a colloidal suspension that defies gravity and they, they cannot agglomerate into large, ineffective nanoparticles. Major thrust of my work has been to produce very, very small, most effective nanoparticles of uh, less than eight or five nanometers, because it's been discovered that only when you have this small size between a, a 0.1 or 0.2 to 5, do you get activity against the most vicious viruses that defy all kinds of treatment. And it's now thought that these um, sub-microscopic nano-sized viruses cause a lot of brain disorders, mad cow disease. And these, these uh, sub-viruses are called prions, P-R-I-O-N-S. And they cannot be inactivated by crude colloidal silver of more than 10 nanometer size. That's why we have to have a professional uh, generators that will produce this highest quality with the smallest nanoparticle size.